great day. Uh, we're heading to her house to do some bridal prep. Uh, we're going to basically catch some natural shots of them getting ready and um, getting makeup and hair done and then we'll do all our wee detail shots of the dresses and shoes and things and um, then we'll do some portraits of the bride and maybe the fam a wee picture of family members meeting the bride for the first time in her dress that sort of thing and then after that we'll head on to uh, the church. The church is literally just two minutes away from the, the bride's house so happy days, we haven't got that far to travel. Um, so um, yeah, all good. We um, Whenever we get to the church we're going to shoot the boys so um, that, that won't take too long and then we'll be able to just go in and uh, do, do the ceremony. So um, after that we're heading to Drenna, uh, Drenna Estate so it's a beautiful location today and we should get some lovely pictures that's probably what was one of the nicest spots about so we're really looking forward to it um really looking forward to uh the pictures down at drena in particular so um yeah so all good we'll uh we'll catch back on camera after uh probably after the church sometime so see you then <laughs> Um, we're on our way to Drenna Estate. Um, can't wait to get there. Actually, they're they're uh, it's like an old sort of manor house. It's such a lovely, beautiful garden. So, looking forward to get there. Uh, the ceremony went went fine. Uh, as did the bride's house. Um, do you know we had a good wee bit of time in the bride's house this morning. We had a good wee bit of time in the bride's uh, with her in her dress, which is good. Um, she's absolutely stunning bride. Um, Leslie had somebody from the lady from the bridal shop came to fit the bride into her dress, which is a really good help. Um, and uh, it was lovely, a very, very nice dress. They really sort of fit the dress down to the knee and then comes out. I don't know what you call that. Is that fish tail? Mermaid. Mermaid? I don't know. <laughs> so we're heading over to Drenna here. Um, so whenever we get there, we'll be able to. We'll shoot the bridal party first and then that'll mean they can go in and mingle with people and then they can sort of take 30 to 40 minutes with the bride, the bride and groom. So uh, we'll do that second and then do the family shots at the end. So it should be uh, it should be really good. Hopefully the rain stays off. It's one of those days where it's, it was raining at the church whenever 
we were going in, but whenever we came out, there was no rain. So uh, the good thing about this uh, place we're going to, the rain is like doesn't really matter as such. It was, it was beautiful inside and out. There's the most amazing staircase. <laughs> photograph on and but saying that now the grounds outside are totally amazing so we would prefer to be able to get outside as well the lighting inside is really really sort of dramatic so uh, it's very good for portraits so we're looking forward to that bridesmaids are wearing like uh sorry like half length dresses half length yeah it's really really nice everybody styles really well um so we're really looking forward to these shots so we'll maybe uh, we'll maybe uh, take ourselves off here and then come on later on. So we'll try and get a few wee filler shots with some of the some of the photographs I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be using my lights and stuff here, so I will probably do half and half. I'll do half of the, half the stuff with you know with natural light, which I normally do. I normally do most of the stuff with the bridal part of it with uh, natural light. Um, I don't normally spend too long with them, so. Um, then when the break room we'll try and do some different things. If the rain stays off, there's nice sort of, there is detail in the sky, you can see the clouds, it's not like, it's not totally grey as such, so we will be able to get some sort of dramatic looking stuff um, outside, so we will, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you again after we do a wee photo shoot, um, if we get, if we get there before the break room, I'll maybe show you some of the grounds before, before they arrive, for sure, um, we'll see you then. And then you have total massive walled gardens here. This is like so big. We'll just go over here and show you. So like we ha we haven't used this part of it yet. This the guests are still over in the main house. So they are so. Yeah, look at that. Crazy good. Absolutely amazing. So I'll take you in and show you the. 
take in and show you the marquee. Um, lovely lights here, sort of draping the way down in. So this is the first wedding I've actually done here where we've been in the marquee. I've, I've shot here a few times before, but um, the, the actual wedding reception hasn't been here. Um, some stunning views here. We've done a couple of wee shots down, uh, down at the front of the garden where there was a beautiful view and stuff. So. Um, absolutely amazing, I think I just see the first first couple of guests coming there, so yeah, so just going to take you in and see the marquee yeah, that was me that was me just falling there, by the way, that's the second time I fell today so there we are what do you think of that? the bar area over there Crazy nice. Nice colourful tables, centres. Into the cake. Mr. and Mrs. Carmichael. Amazing. Yeah, they, they must like the gin. I'll just take you over to the top table. Have a wee look. Amazing, isn't it? We better get a wee shot of Rachel here. She's telling me to go away. Say hi! <laughs> So I'll just do and finish off the last few wee detail shots while I do this wee bit of vlogging. Um, so I'll show you this here. That's for a table plan. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. The first few guests come. Yeah, so what we've done today was we went out into the gardens with a bridal party, basically for four bridesmaids, the bride and groom, and the groomsmen. We've done a wee shot, a few wee shots uh, with the bridal party. So um, you know, I'd probably tend to photograph them for about for about 10 minutes uh, there was probably you know for maybe five or six shots with a, with a braille party five or six different, different poses and then I do some with the with the bridesmaids um, you know that whole sort of process I try and keep it to 10 15 minutes because the I normally would take the bride and groom off for a wee walk and do some shots with them so uh, that process is a lot longer maybe 30 40 minutes um, and especially with a place like this, you know, you, you know, well, what, what's the point in putting so much effort into uh, somewhere like this and then only getting a couple of shots of each other? You want to try and use the grounds to your advantage, um, which is exactly what we've done today. Um, so we ended up, you know, away from maybe 30 40 minutes with a bride and groom. Um, shot probably 50% natural light, other 50% was um, with the with the flash. Um, we've done a few shots, sort of quite landscapey. We've done them. Um, Got a few people. So we're doing a few wee shots, sort of land, landscape uh, shots with the the bride and groom. Uh, I'm trying to keep it sort of, you know, I like to class, sort of class my work as cinematic. So I try and tell a story throughout. Um, with the poses, so I'm um, not just going to one location and doing the same pose over. I try and incorporate a wee bit of walking into it, walking into the camera, walking away from the camera, using different lighting situations, maybe a silhouette and uh, other, uh, you know, with the, with the face lit up and not lit up, um, you know, so that whenever we're putting them into the, the album, it is as told as a story and not just as, you know, sort of random shots here and there. Uh, you know, and these guys are going to have an amazing album. Um, 
so nice so uh, so uh, yeah all good um so I'm just waiting on the bride and groom coming here they're going to come over and we're going to do a wee shot with the um, with the cake and then we're going to do the speeches and then that's that's us done for today we're we're finishing after the speeches so um, we're going to head home after that so we are so there you are um, yeah hope you enjoyed the wee uh, vlog for today uh, you know I suppose just trying to give you some sort of an insight into you know what we do uh, what we do, I'm going to say on a daily basis, but you know, on a, on a sort of weekly basis or that. So, um, you know, I'm so privileged to have such beautiful weddings to photograph, and such beautiful couples to photograph. Like the, the uh, all, all my customers are there's such amazing, amazing people to work with, and uh, you know, it's for sure my privilege to be able to to do this job. I know there's a lot of people who would like to be in my position being so being so busy and getting these sort of fabulous venues so uh, you know I have to count our blessings. Um, but uh, yeah good job thanks very much and uh, hopefully we'll be show you some images from today um, we'll maybe put a wee sort of roll we really love them on here at the end for us to to enjoy but thanks very much and I'll talk to you soon.